Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here, and today is Casing Tuesday, and I am live here in my studio today, and tomorrow I'm heading off to Canada to take care of my mom, because I'm not doing so well right now. So I have booked a one-way ticket up to see her, and I am not exactly sure yet when I'm coming back, but I will keep you all informed of um, the logistics and everything like that. So I'll be going live today and if I can squeeze it in today, I um, am going to try and film a tutorial for Friday. So I'm going to try and have something for you um, this Friday and then we'll see how it goes um, going forward. I don't um, really know logistically, but I'll try and keep you updated. Um, if you're on my email list, um, then you'll be able to get those updates more readily because um, uh, that's probably where I'm going to be posting. So if you're receiving my project sheets and everything, that will be a good place for you to get information about me and what's going on and when I'm going live and everything um, as well. So um, just keep that in the back of your mind. I'm going to try and get back as soon as possible. So um, I have a host code this month. So let me just pop this up on the page. So I, there's two things going on. So there's an excellent starter kit special. And there is, um, and that is when, when you get the starter kit, you in essence become your own demonstrator and you are, are welcome to hold classes and to sell, but you don't have to, you can become a hobbyist. So let, let's talk about that first. So um, there is a special this month um, and it is um, either 35% off the starter kit or 35% more product in the starter kit. If you wanna find out more, just go to cubiesquest.com forward slash join and there's a lot of information there and I'm happy to answer your questions so please reach out to me if you have questions uh, also so that's one thing um, and then the other thing is I do have a host code if you just want to place a regular order here is my host code for the month and this is my gift of the month for spending $50 or more. Um, hopefully the speckled dots will be back available when I go to order them. And if they're not, um, you will get another reward of equal or greater value. So um, just know that you'll be getting a gift from me if you use this host code and spend $50. So today and tomorrow, we also still have free shipping on orders over $75. So please take advantage of that if you're still um, waiting to place a holiday catalog log order or you have an order to go in this month um, get the free shipping use my host code so you can also get the gift if you're placing a large order though I just want to point out like if you're placing an order of $150 or more you can skip using this host code because I want you to claim your own rewards benefits um, so um, just that in mind but if your order is between um, 50 and um, uh, well, any any amount between zero and uh, 150, um, below 150, then please use the host code. But if your order is um, $50 or more, you'll get this gift too. So that's what's going on right now. I'm going to pop these away so they don't get distracting. I'm going to pop some more things up. Today's also Casing Tuesday, and that's the day when we take a card out of the catalog and give it a makeover. So let's take a look at what today's card is. Here it is, and I have to tell you, I struggle with these layered cards. Oh my gosh, they are so hard for me, but I love the way my card turned out, by the way. And that's kind of the interesting thing, is I struggle with these layered cards like this, but, um, Absolutely, I found a good way to make it happen. And I think this is one of the best things about Casing Tuesday is that you sometimes have to make cards or you don't have to, but it puts you out of your comfort zone. And I sometimes need that. So I'm very happy with the way my card turned out, but I never ever would have designed it like that because it's just not my style. So that's kind of cool. I get to uh, make cards that aren't my style and I can still call them my own. 
All right, so let's take a look at the little sketch here. So the sketch looks a lot more simplified, but you're gonna need some die cuts or something around that um, greeting layer to kind of pop up that, um, that backdrop. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So let me just get rid of that and get rid of that. So here is my card today. I love this card. Look at this holographic paper. This is from the holographic trio paper. And I use the stars at night bundle to um, make those stars. And so it's really cool. Um, those stars are cut and embossed at the same time. And it just gives so much dimension and it's so very easy to do it. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, so a couple of things are not available for ordering right now. The Stars at Night bundle is, so I would suggest getting it right now on the free shipping special. You'll just need to add a little bit more to your order to get up to the $75 for the free shipping. But look at the, um, the holographic. You can get some of that paper. That's available right now. What isn't available right now is the Oho Holy Night paper, the backdrop paper. And this glittered ribbon, this is Night of Navy, Night of Navy glittered, Night of Navy and Gold glittered ribbon. It's very pretty. Um, it is not available to order right now, but I'll tell you um, the Night of Navy ribbon will be available on October 23rd, and the Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper will be available on October 16th, so they will be back in stock. Um, and um, in the meantime, get some of this beautiful holographic paper because it's just perfect for making stars that catch the light and um, add color, add silvery color to your cards. So uh, I just love the way this turned out. And like I said, I would never have designed this card ever, 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 because this is not my style. But um, using that sketch, this is what I came up with, the sketch and the sample made this card and I love 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 the way it turned out so sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle but it's worth it in the end right so I'm going to show you how I made this and I know you're going to love to watch how I made those stars because they're just so cool and easy to make all right let me switch over to my other camera and I'm just going to say hello to the people who've joined me so far and left me a comment good morning D and Deborah and Janine and Ellie hello everyone so um, let me switch over to um, my other thing actually you know what I think it was Janine's card choice <laughs> <laughs> this week and I, I love the way my card turned out but boy was it was it a struggle for me okay so I'm going to show you how to make the card but first let me just quickly show you this is the bundle so this bundle if you buy the whole bundle together you get the stars at night stamp set and then these two are purchased together this is the stars at night 3d um, embossing folder but they also come with the dies you can't buy the embossing folder and dies separately they are a package deal um, because you use this die right here you don't have to use it together but okay so you need to kind of just do this and you figure out where to stick this down and you kind of hover around the edge here and then you put your paper on top and you close it and you run it through and it cuts and embosses at the same time. All right, we'll do that in a moment. And let's pull out the card base. So I start off with a piece of cardstock that is 11 inches by four and a quarter and I score in half at the five and a half inch mark and then I fold in half and use my bone folder to um, make the card base. Then I cut a piece of the Oh Holy Night Designer Series paper, and I like to make best use out of my paper. I could have gone all the way across, but then I can only get four cards out of a sheet of 12 by 12. So I did four inches by five and a quarter, so because this is so dark, you can barely tell that the paper doesn't go all the way to the edge. So this is the perfect paper to do it with. I 
And so I'm just going to take this and this is the paper that is not available for order right now, but will be available next week. So, um, but I don't suggest waiting on getting the Stars at Night bundle because it has already sold out once. It's a very popular bundle. So I would suggest jumping ahead and getting the bundle now so that you have it. The paper is not specialty paper. This one's not specialty paper. So this one um, will be replenished more quickly, whereas the dyes are made overseas. So if if they go um, unavailable again, it's gonna take longer for them to come back in. So then I took another pattern from that same paper, and this piece is three and a half by two inches. I'm gonna grab a ruler because I kind of perfectly measured where I need to place this piece. So um, I want this um, going, it's gonna be one and a half inches from the bottom of the paper, not the bottom of the card. So I'm just using that paper as a guide. So let's put glue on the back of here. And I kind of followed the pattern that the original card had. It kind of had a coppery looking piece of cardstock or designer series paper. So I just, I kind of just followed that pattern. So I'm just gonna lay that um, so I can see one and a half inches. And then I'm gonna add the centered from side to side. That looks good. All right, so that's that's the base. It doesn't look very good right now, but it will look better in a moment. So then we're going to take um, a piece of basic white and we're going to take our greeting and we'll just stamp it in Night of Navy ink. And the cool thing about this is that it does have a die to match. So we're gonna do some die cutting right now. Get this out of the way for a second. Bring in our die cutting machine. We're gonna need gonna need some more plates and stuff. Okay, let me roll this out for a second. I'm gonna die cut the greeting first since I have it right here. So I've got my base platform. I've got my thin die adapter number two. I've got, which one of these is flatter, I think. I think this one's flatter. No, nope, I think this one's flatter. One of these is flatter, this one. Okay, I've made my decision, I'm sticking to it. So I'll put my piece of um, paper down. So um, base platform one, then thin die adapter two, a clear plate. And then we're going to go and grab this die right here. Plop that on there. Grab a little bit of this labeling and cover up tape. You can use also the top of the post-it note. And we'll just get this situated so it's centered on here. In particular, you want to look at the bottom of the holiday season right here. It's pretty easy to line up right there. And I think that looks pretty, pretty good, although I just shifted it. And then I'll just pop that down here so it doesn't shift. I'm gonna pop this away for a moment because that's gonna be for the 3D embossing folder. I need another clear plate on top. And then we're gonna just pop that on there and we'll roll it through. Crackly crack. And we've got our greeting. Pull this off, just be really gentle when you pull off that tape. And there is the greeting ready to go. And then we're going to grab the star die. So I don't need these clear plates anymore, and I don't need the thin die adapter number two. So I'll put those away. We need our base platform. 
and you're going to need your um, number four plate. This is used for embossing with our thick embossing folders. And this embossing folder is a 3D embossing folder. We're going to need these dies right here. And so we need to match this up right here. And we're going to do one star at a time. I've got a piece of um, three by three. You know, I probably could have cut a piece to do both of these at the same time. Last night though, I didn't add the star until afterwards. So if you want to, you can cut a piece that will cut, cover both of those stars. But I'm gonna do these one at a time because that's the way I did. So you want um, this side down because this is gonna get embossed. So you're gonna do this and close it up. And then we're gonna run this through. crackling a little bit. Okay, and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so gorgeous. So um, I'm going to take this off now. There's a little shrapnel. So let's get rid of all of that. <laughs> it doesn't want to loosen. Okay, here we go. Just want to grab all of those and put those into the garbage. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do this one more time. So if you wanna know the placement for this, look for the little Stampin' Up! logo, and this is the side that you're gonna put your die on. You want the cut side, so the side that has the little raised groove facing up, okay? And then we're going to take our holographic paper and put it um, towards the cut, so the, towards the cutting edge, so that we get that texture. So this is a little piece of one by five eighths by one by five eighths. We're going to close this up again. Move this back over here, and we'll put our plate on top and run it through. This is such gorgeous paper. Look at that. It's like so cool. I love it. All right. There it is. It's got sparkle and texture, and it took me just a few seconds to do that. All right. And that's why this um, bundle has been so popular is because um, who doesn't love stars at Christmas or during the holidays? Okay, so let's start assembling things. So last night, this is what took me the longest. This is what I have the most problem with is like how to assemble all of these layers. It's overwhelming to me. So I'm going to show you how I did this so that it isn't overwhelming. So this piece right here, we're going to add a piece of ribbon to the bottom of it so we don't have to keep messing around with that. So I'll just take my ribbon and lay it across the card. I need to find my scissors. Here we go. I'm going to cut it about the width of the card, like that. Flip this over, grab some tear and tape. Um, and then we're going to just add a line right across the bottom and tear it off. Okay, that's number one. I have no thumbnails right now. It's gonna be fun. You can sometimes use like a poker tool, like um, a piercing tool to help with your edges. <laughs> Might be easier than what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I've got that adhesive exposed and now I'm going to take that ribbon I want it you know what it's easier to do it like this so I can see what I'm doing so I just want it 
centered from side to side and I want a little bit showing about half of it showing on the bottom like that okay so now I can take this and I'll tell you right now that you know what I did this is bad I'm going to redo this there's a nicer side to both of these there's a more glittery side and I chose the wrong side so let's do this again all right take two look for the more glittery side I actually got the back side of this okay there we go that looks better my other card looked better and I was like why does it look better okay so I'm going to center my greeting from side to side so that will make it really really easy for placement purposes so I'll use some more tear and tape for the top sometimes glue is a little harder to stick on like on the shiny sides of things so therefore I'm going to actually use some tear and tape just for this greeting here and we'll peel this off again if I can do this with my tiny thumbnails I pity you guys who have to watch me without a manicure, but that's just not me. I cannot spend the time doing that. It would be too boring and tedious for me. I'd rather play with paper than, than do that. I, there's some people with beautiful nails, though. Um, okay, so I'm going to just center that from side to side like that. You know what? The one bad thing is I didn't leave room for my group, my star. Yikes. I want it. I should have placed the star first. Okay, now I'm going to have to do surgery. Man. Okay, so don't do what I just did. I probably should heat this with my heat tool. Probably come off nicer. But okay, I've got this lifted up a bit and we'll fix this in the center. Yep, last night I put my star first. I forgot I put that star first. Okay, so this is lifted up. I'm gonna probably have to cut off some of those star spokes. Okay, this star is gonna come on the very last. So this one, we're gonna just cut off some of the star spokes so I can get it underneath. But what you will do is you will glue it right below here and right here. So don't do what I do. <gasps> Look at, I'm cutting off the spokes of my star. Don't cry. Pretend they're whole underneath there. Okay, so now this is gonna fit. Okay, good. See, this is what you do when you make a mistake. I thought the greeting came on first, but no, it was this big star. Okay, so we're gonna shove this in here. We're gonna make sure this lands, if you're like me and you wanna make this card exactly, this just needs to be down a little bit and this needs to be right here and then we're gonna push it down. And then we're gonna push this down over top and pretend that I didn't make a mistake. There, it looks all lovely. Oh, and um, one little way to make sure that you get the star placed right is it's pretty much even with this paper piece. Okay, there we go. All fixed. Don't look at the little pieces I cut off. That's just so sad. <laughs> All right, and then we've got this star over here. But now you know how to fix your card if you mess up like I did. Okay, then we'll put the star right here. This star, I think, measures the same same way across. It's like um, there's no longer spikes. They're all the same distance, so it doesn't matter which way you put this on. And I'm just layering this over top of it. Okay. All right, so now we just need to do some embellishments. I'm going to use the iridescent rhinestone jewels. We'll grab a big one and we'll stick it right on that star. We'll grab a medium one and we'll stick it on this star. And now I just need to pick 
where I'm going to put one of these. So this one had a star here. I could put this little star right on here. Maybe I'll do that. So that it kind of it kind of winks at you and makes it look a little bit. You'll have to see where your stars appear and you know, you could put it randomly out in the middle of the sky as well. It doesn't matter. I just usually like to use 3. I like to use an odd number. And then I tied myself a tiny little silver trim bow. So we'll just take this and we'll take a mini glue dot. I'm going to take it right off the roll. And it doesn't matter if it kind of gets squished a little bit because I'm going to kind of stretch it out a little bit and make it kind of long and skinny. So it works well with my trim. And then we'll just add that right on top of there. I know I have ribbon and more ribbon, and I normally never do that on a card. I usually choose one embellishment and one ribbon, but I think it just, I felt like there was just a little bit something else we could do to the card without overwhelming the whole card. And there it is. Like, this card didn't take very long, did it? So look at the shine, the way the light is hitting all the stars. Isn't that just perfect? Like you have to get, if you get the stars at night bundle, get some of the holographic 3D paper. I'm gonna just show it to you real quick so you can see what it's like. So for this one, you get two sheets of each of the paper. So you can see right now, there's one that's kind of smooth. There's one that's got kind of a wave pattern to it. So you get two of the smooth, two of the wave pattern, and then the last pattern, I'll pull it out all the way so you can see it. It's a colored pattern. So it goes all the way from like a, a deep purple to like almost like a red um, pink. So um, you could do stars in this color too, um, but you could also save this for a different project. But you've got a lot, you're gonna get four sheets of the silver, two of the smooth silver and two of the wavy silver. So you'll have lots of, um, lots of holographic paper to do stuff with. And um, yeah, this, this paper is lovely. Um, and then we've got this um, Oh Holy Night paper. And this is what I used for the backdrop here. Let's just take a look at this paper too. This is really pretty. Look, on one side it has like this scene at the bottom and then this is the back side. This paper is this one and then it has this one on the back side. And then we've got this paper, look at this. It's kind of a, a nice um, scene. And there's another bundle I'm gonna run across and get it. So I just wanna point out, this is the Night Divine Bundle and it has greeting on the stamp sets, but it also has these nativity um, images or die cuts or dies. <laughs> so I think some of these would look really nice with this paper. Um, this paper, of course, is not available right now, but will it be available next week? Um, so that's the back side of that paper and then we've got this and we've got that paper. This one was, oh, this one's just a regular star paper. That's the one I used on the front. Okay, that's a repeat, sorry. And then we've got this paper. It's kind of just got um, kind of a blue backdrop and more blue backdrop. So this would be really good for backdrops to to everything that you are making. And this one was the one with the scene at the bottom. And we've got this one. So it's a lot of kind of blue starred paper. This would look really nice with a greeting embossed on top, maybe in silver or white. It's just really pretty paper, perfect for nativity scenes. All right. Did I talk about all the supplies? I think I did.
All right, let me pop back over to here. So I hope you like my card today and a card that took me completely out of my comfort zone and it still turned out beautifully because I had help with the layout. So um, don't let those some of those sketches or cards like totally um, give it a try. Really, truly give it a try. It's so good for your brain um, to not always do the same thing. That's why I love the Casing Tuesday because you're not always um, given a card that would be your comfort zone. Um, so we have a lot of different designers on our, our group and we invite you as well to join us on our Casing Tuesday Facebook group. The link is down below so that you can um, share your card if you want to join in. I'll just mention, I've, I'll just pop up the host code one more time. And this is my gift. And then this is the um, join link. So that will take you to my starter kit sign up page, which has more information. It, it, um, it, it takes you to kind of a landing page where it has more information. And um, the, there is a place where you can contact me with your questions. Don't be afraid to ask me questions. I'm pretty good at answering them. I've already answered a lot of questions about the starter kit so far because it's such a great deal. Yesterday, I had a customer um, who had was having trouble with dimensions on one of my projects. She um, called me and I answered her questions. So don't be afraid to ask me because I, I want to get your questions answered. All right. I want to say hello to a few more people. Good morning, Marty and Pam. Um, and Janine says, yes, that was your her card pick. Oh my gosh, Janine, you don't know how I struggled with this card, but I love, I love my end results. So thank you for choosing the card. Even though last night I may have been cursing you. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Janine and I are good friends and she's also on my team. So she knows I'm joking. So, um, no, it was, it was uh, a little bit challenging, but I got it done and I love the way it looks. Absolutely love it. Um, uh, Oh, she says, uh, betting a big part of my decision was the book paper. Um, oh, and she doesn't design cards like this either. Oh my goodness. Well, that's really interesting. So um, the paper on the original card, I'm going to pull it up for a second. This paper right here, this paper um, has been in and out of stock. As soon as it comes back in stock, it goes back out of stock. This is the, the most popular paper in, in the catalog right now. It's beautiful fall paper. I did not get it because by the time I went to order it, it was gone. And I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's just one of those papers, like if I would use it, that it just would, you know, go back out of stock again. Um, the one of, one of the problems with that particular paper, it's not a problem with the paper, it's the problem with getting it in. It's, it is a specialty paper, that fall paper is a specialty paper. And um, Stampin' Up! does not get that paper here in North America. So it has to come from overseas. Anything that's specialty, like even the holographic paper, that comes from overseas. So um, it, the regular paper, like Oh Holy Night, if it goes out of stock, it will come back in, like usually within about a week, it will come back in stock if it's not at the end of the catalog cycle. And um, so they'll, they're will they able to get that one back in, but anything that has, it says specialty on it, it's um, just not gonna come um, back in very quickly. And that that's the problem with that paper. If it didn't have those accents on it, um, it might not be quite as cool, but it would have come back in sooner. So that's the reason for that. Um, Marty says, oh, darn Facebook, she only got here now. I know, I think I need to start sending out an announcement when I'm going live on Tuesdays as well. I haven't done that in the past, so I think I need to do that. I'll have to probably do that when I get back because it's not going to be done um, before I leave. I know this much. I've got, oh, I've got um, everyone who's waiting for thank you cards from September orders. 
they're all stacked behind me. I just have to go um, to the post office and mail them. I like to mail them at the post office because I want them inside so no one steals them from um, my mailbox or anything like that. So I'm going to the post office this afternoon and I'm getting them, I have to buy some stamps and then I'm going to pop them all in the mail. So those will all go out in the mail before I leave, yay. I don't know why that um, just came across my brain, but I'm, tr I'm just trying to get as much done before I leave as possible. Marty says she didn't get the Stars at Night bundle. It's a really beautiful bundle. I got it late as well because it, when I first went to order it, it was out of stock. So, um, but it came back in and it is beautiful. And I would get some holographic paper because I could make those holographic stars all day. They're just so beautiful. Um, and Marty says my card is beautiful. Thank you. Um, and Pam said she shared my video. So thank you so much for sharing my video. I appreciate that. Hopefully more people will get to see it, um, because you shared it. So thank you so much. So going forward, um, just, I, I don't currently have anything planned, a video drop for Friday, but I just had an inspiration this morning. Um, so if I can get it done, I am gonna plow ahead and, and get it done and um, post a video on Friday. But um, I will, I still have um, some Marius Christmas Trees project sheets to post. They are for the um, small and medium trees and um, they're just different sizing than my large trees so those will still drop um, I've got everything photographed and I will um, not sure yet when I'm going to post them but I have I have all the measurements and everything worked out for that so I did that this weekend uh, thank you Deborah um, thanks for the safe travel wishes I really appreciate that I've got three flights tomorrow I'm flying from Boston to Minneapolis Minneapolis to Vancouver and then Vancouver to Kelowna BC so I'm getting up tomorrow you don't want to know when I'm getting up I'm gonna have to get up at three o'clock in the morning we have to leave here by 3 30 and um we'll be at the airport probably around four my flight leaves at 5 30 in the morning so early um and then i have um like two hour um connections in between and you know for the most part that's what I have to do to get to my hometown it's usually three flights occasionally two occasionally I can get a direct flight to Vancouver um, and then I can um, fly in um, from Vancouver to Kelowna it used to be easier before the pandemic happened um, there used to be um, a a direct flight from Seattle into um, Kelowna which really made things easier for me it was actually I, I love the Seattle airport but um, uh, I have I've only been to Minneapolis once the airport um, I've been to Vancouver airport multiple times I also like the Vancouver airport so I'll, I'll get to hang there for a little bit so will be a fun travel day and I'll be exhausted by the end of it I'm sure but um, it will be good to see my mom and my sister and I might get a chance to see our son because he's doing his work term out in Vancouver and he said he might come out for a visit to Kelowna at some point so I'll maybe even get to see him so um, it will be nice to see a family all right i hope you guys all have a great week and i will keep you posted on what's happening with me and um keep you in the loop so bye for now everyone take care